Action. Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. Welcome to How to Act Like Your Favorite Actor. And I can assure you that if you follow all of these tips and techniques, you'll be acting in a long time. And you'll be able to do things like this. Happy, haha, <laughs> sad, aw, confused, what? Transition, whoa! To act like Robert Pattinson, also known as Edward from the Twilight movies, all you have to do is talk real quietly and sound like you're in pain. It's like a drug to me. More pain than that. It's like a drug to me. Even more. It's like a drug to me. You just had spoiled milk in the morning and somebody punched you in the stomach and now you have to hold in your pain. It's like a drug to me. You're like my own personal brand of heroin. I don't know why Kristen Stewart gets so much hate for being a bad actor. In order to be a great actor, the character you're playing has to be consistent. And Kristen Stewart is the master of consistency. Oh my god, that's shocking. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Oh my god, that's terrible. Oh my god, I'm a ninja. Or oh my god. Oh my god. See, they're all the same. So people may give her a 1 out of 10 for acting, but I give her a consist 10 out of 10. How do you feel about that, Kristen? Oh my god, that's shocking. In order to act like Alan Rickman, also known as Professor Snape from the Harry Potter movies, all you have to do is make the Stitch voice from Lilo and Stitch, or Hanlon Lund's family. And once you got that done, all you have to do is make your voice deeper and talk with your teeth closed. I can teach you to bewitch the mind. I can teach you to ensnare the senses. I can teach you to strip the pot and expunge the bulb. I can teach you to sound like Squidward. I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Everybody knows the accent, but in order to sound like Arnold, all you have to do is make the Kermit the Frog voice. Kermit the Frog here. And then sound like you're throwing up. Listen to me. You have to get out of here. Get to the chopper. Get down. In order to act like Jim Carrey, all you have to do is flex every single muscle in your body and have really sharp, quick movements. Well, alrighty then. Yeah! A lot of people say that Taylor Lautner is a bad actor, but he's not. He just has a different style of acting called distracting. All you have to do is have a nice body and take off your shirt to distract people from your bad acting. Ah. Oh my god, you're bleeding. Yeah, can you pass me that towel over oh, there? No, 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 here. Thanks. Got some blood on the counter too. Do you mind passing me some of Oh, no, don't worry, here. Okay. Shoot, spilled the pepper. Do you mind handing me that trash can over? Where do you keep getting all those shirts from? <laughs> Look, I don't know how you're doing this shirt magic, but the bleeding is not stopping. So can you just call an ambulance or something? Oh yeah, sure. You don't need to take your shirt off just to call oh. the- 911, what's your emergency? Hi, yeah, do you guys have any more shirts? I'm running low. Act really sassy and sarcastic and do that stuttering thing where you don't really finish your sentence. So you you don't want me to okay, yeah, it's, get just grab it my yeah. I just grab it myself. All you gotta do is hunch forward, throw up your arms, and always be angry. I don't know. Okay, why don't you ask the monkey over here, huh? Oh, oh, no, you don't wanna move. Oh, look at me. I'm a little monkey with my little monkey head. Carl. Carl. Mouth full of chewing tobacco. Well, 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 what we got here, baby brother? Jennifer Lawrence is a great actor, but what makes people really love her is that she's really down to earth and she doesn't care what people think. She's silly, she's clumsy, she puts her pants on one leg at a time, just like everybody else after they take nudes. Too far? You're okay. Hey Jen, do you think you put that fork down? Why? What are you calling me, fat? What does it even matter how much I weigh? I don't want little girls watching this to see Katniss as this anorexic supermodel character. You don't have to be that skinny and beautiful just to be a really strong, independent woman. Yeah, okay, that's fine, but this is Hunger Games. You're supposed to be starving in this scene and not eating. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so sorry, guys. I am only human after it's all. It's okay, it's okay. Here, I'll go put this away. Here. Woo! <laughs> All you have to do is talk like you're in very deep thought all the time so that everything you say, even if it doesn't make sense, sounds like it's very deep and dramatic. Sometimes you gotta go back. 
to actually move forward. And I don't mean that like some fancy metaphor, I mean literally. Like when you crash into one of those big old green tube things in Mario Kart, you gotta press B and reverse a little, and then you can keep going. And even though I know all that, I still have so many unanswered questions like, did they name the tree after the palm? the palm after the tree. Did Delilah ever tell that guy what it was like in New York City? And of course, the greatest question of all, what is the meaning of life? Cereal. I mean, it don't taste that good. It's not the healthiest cereal around. It's just there. Yet life is still a cereal, because life is still surreal. Act like Samuel L. Jackson, all you have to do is talk like you're in a club or at a concert or any place that's really loud where you have to shout. <laughs> Why are you stopping, Mr. Cruz? Do you want to be a part of this team? Yes, coach. And I'm gonna ask you one last time, Mr. Cruz. What is in your wallet? What? You got a hearing problem, Mr. Cruz? I said, what is in your wallet? I don't know, cash? Wrong answer, Mr. Cruz. That's a hundred more push-ups. I got pictures. Let's make that a thousand. Some gum? Ten thousand push-ups, Mr. Cruz. Cards. I, I have credit cards. Okay, and what kind of card is that? Uh, it ain't that hard, Mr. Cruz. I, 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 what kind of card do you have, Mr. Cruz? What is in your wallet? Um, Isa? Get your ass back on the ground and give me a hundred thousand! A hundred thousand with a capital one! Capital one! The f's in your wallet! Acting like Leonardo DiCaprio is really difficult because of all the different characters he plays. However, there's one similar role that he plays every single year. And in order to act like that, all you have to do is start nodding your head, press your lips together, and begin clapping. And the Oscar for Best Actor goes to Matthew McConaughey. Normally when you're scared or frightened of something, you move really quickly. But every horror movie actor knows that's the complete opposite of what you want to do. In order to act like a horror movie actor, all you have to do is move in slow motion when something frightens you. <gasps> oh, it's just you, Marley. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just gonna go kill someone else already. You're so damn slow. God, I should've went down the street to the beer house. Every drama movie actor knows that if you wanna look really sad, Look out a window. You don't actually have to know anything for this one. You don't even need to know your lines. Just come up with a combination of the scariest and most dangerous things you can think of and then have an editor put it in for you with really good effects. So you're saying the machine fell in Mount Volcano and it's gonna erupt at any second? Yes, and I'm afraid this time, it's not just gonna be molten lava erupting. What else is there? Lasers. Laser Volcano, only on sci-fi. So you're saying all the animals, they've been sucked into the sky? Yes, and I'm afraid this time when the storm hits, it's not just gonna be rain. What do you mean? It's literally gonna rain cats and dogs. <laughs> the rain of cats and dogs, only on sci-fi. So you're saying a tornado that's forming in the ocean is heading towards us? Yes. And I'm afraid this tornado is so big that it's gonna suck up man-eating sharks. So it won't just be a normal tornado. It's gonna be a Sharknado. Sharknado, only on sci-fi. Wait, if a tornado is forming in the ocean, isn't that just a hurricane? No, I mean, tornadoes can form over water too, right? I'm not sure. I know hurricanes do. Then should we just call it Shark Hurricane? Yeah, but that doesn't sound as good as Sharknado. Yeah, but I mean, just to be safe. I think we're thinking too much into this. Yeah, this is the sci-fi network. We don't have to know real science for this, right? <laughs> The sci-fi network. Our science may not be accurate, but at least we have good effects. So I know what you're thinking. That was nothing like how those actors act. In fact, that wasn't even good acting. But that's because you're used to seeing these people in movies. And if we were to put all the stuff you just saw in the form of a movie, you'd see how perfect the acting actually was. 
Sometimes you gotta go back to actually move forward. And even though I know all that, I still have so many unanswered questions. What does it even matter? I don't know. Okay, why don't you ask the monkey over here? <laughs> what? You got a hearing problem, Mr. Groove? Yes, coach. Oh my god, that's terrible. It's like a drug to me. What do you mean? It's like a drug to me. What else is there? <laughs> Shining, shimmering, splendor. Listen to me! You have to get out of here! Because life is still surreal. Okay, yeah, that still sucked. <laughs> so thank you guys again so much for watching. If you want to see bloopers and behind the scenes, click the one on the left. If you want to see the previous video, click the one on the right. Or if you want to see another video just like this one, it's called How to Sing Like Your Favorite Artist. Click the one on the bottom. That one will teach you just as much as this one. Probably not that much.